Good morning, everyone. We are here in front of the Riviera Complex, as always, and the wonderful Driehaus Fountain that is flowing away beautifully. And if we sweep around, the beach is very quiet this morning. Wrigley, however, um, parking is starting to fill up. And if we scan around um, traffic, well, traffic is starting to pick up as well. Beautiful view of the lake this morning. Um, very clear skies, but we're going to find out more about that on and with. It is Tuesday morning, August 11th, 2020. I'm Jen Lukowski. Lisa Otto. And the Geneva Shore Report. Good morning. Good morning. Lots of flash flooding. There were trees down all over the place, wires down, fires to be put out. I mean, it got really chaotic. It did. I, I have to mention, here in Lake Geneva, we had the tornado siren going on. We had winds coming from several different directions, a lot of funneling. Um, and we had so much flash flooding that some of the roads were closed. Part of Center Street was closed, part of Wisconsin and Broad Street were blocked off. And it, the entire front of Horticulture Hall onto Broad Street and Wisconsin Street, that whole corner was completely underwater. It was ridiculous. Um, but just as fast as it came, it left. Yeah. It was, I mean, it got kind of scary there. Yes, it did. I was driving home to the middle of all of it on H. I mean, H was just completely flooded, water standing still. It was terrible. And then once you get into Elkhorn, there were sheriffs all over, blocking roads, and yeah, I mean, yeah. It, it got kind of scary. Sirens were going off, but thankfully, I mean, I, everything ended okay. I mean, lots of trees down, but it could have been so much worse. Ha, you had a tree fall in your yard, yeah, didn't you, Jen? a tree fall and break our fence and land in the garden. Oh, no. But my daughter checked the pumpkins. The pumpkins are okay. Oh, well, good. As long yeah, as the pumpkins like, are okay. <laughs> <laughs> but you know that Halloween's coming up, of course. You know that's priority right now. But we do have a beautiful summer morning this morning. Right now we have 66 degrees. It feels like 72, but still very comfortable. Humidity though, 88 percent. High humidity again today. But if you're enjoying the outdoors and the shade this morning. It still feels like 66. Very comfortable. A great morning to be out and about. Unless, okay, allergies. Everything's pretty low today, except tree pollen. That's, that's higher today, so make sure you take your allergy medicine. <laughs> that wink, wink to my kids. Yeah, Aller they've been bad. Allergies have been bad this year. Mm -hmm. so. But we're going to have sunshine all day long. Clear skies. Visibility is great. This is a complete turnaround from yesterday, complete opposite. So embrace it, enjoy it, because tomorrow, well, we have a high of 80 degrees today, too, and it's going to feel like 88, but tomorrow we have a high of 80 again, but it's going to feel like the mid-90s. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be a little rough tomorrow and some high humidity, so take advantage of today and enjoy the cooler weather. <laughs> Although I can't believe I'm saying the high and 80 and then feels like 88 is going to be cool. I know. I know. What a summer we've had. Yeah, it's been a warm one. Well, the breeze feels the wonderful. Yeah, I'd say it's averaging about two or three miles an hour, but it can dust up to five. Okay, we have 3.5, 2.6. So we should see an average of two to five miles an hour today, but it's out of the north, northwest. So, so it feels good, yeah. Okay, well, I think we are right. Oh, the roads. Yeah, how are it the roads? Wrigley is filling up. When we got here this morning, it was kind of quiet, but now there's only a few spots left. So I'm sure the beach will get busier as the day goes on, along with downtown. So just make sure you're paying attention. People cross kind of whenever they get the chance. So you need to be cautious if you're driving through town. And even um, Broad Street here is starting to pick up. So. Everyone's going to be enjoying the weather. 
and just be careful because not all of the branches have been cleaned up yet. However, I think all the roadways are clear, but you never know. And all of the flash flooding while well, it's drained. So there should be no issues with that. No, but there are still some debris. Here. Yeah. So just pay attention as you're driving through. All right, well, I'm Jen Lepkowski. Lisa Otto. And the Geneva Shore Report. Bye. Bye.